Okay, I want to talk to you a little bit about this problem right here. That fall code, the P1347 or the 17755, uh, the incorrect correlation is one of the things that a lot of people hate to have happen, and it does happen. Um, more than likely, if you get these two together, the G163 and the G28, uh, it doesn't mean replace them, it means you got problems in your in the cam area so I'm gonna show you what I have going on in this one this one somebody had replaced the head on it and everything was machined and cams and everything put in here so on the intake side right there you can see see here Okay, you got your arrow, and then there's your notch, and then this one right here is where this actually, if this was right there in front of that notch or the arrow, this would be straight up. It'd actually be right in the center here, okay? So let me show you the other side where the problem is. That one's actually in the right spot. This one over here is not. This is actually kicked off to the left, okay? So that's my link right there that needs to be in this one here. The one to the left is where it's supposed to be. So I gotta move that one link over and it will it'll be correct. Okay, now I want to show you this. Looking in the book, you have this is the intake side, and you notice the arrow, the notch, and they put a mark right there. Right there is your half link. So that's gonna be your start. And this one, the intake is straight up and down. So we go 16 over, and you see here the arrow, the notch, and it's kind of off to the left a little bit. Okay, first thing you want to do is use that, use this tool right here to compress your adjuster. Don't over tighten this thing, because if you break it and it's the only one you have, you're not going to be very happy. Okay starting to bend out a little bit right there so I'm gonna stop right there okay now I'm gonna go ahead and take off these three bolts here and I'll take off this bolt here okay now I have the bolts out so go ahead and take your gasket off okay now that I have this loose I'm going to take off all these caps make sure you put them in in order so you don't get them messed up um, all the bolts are the same size, but yeah, don't mess them up and don't put them in backwards. And we're going to go ahead and take take this cam position sensor off. Um, should be 10 millimeter, two 10 millimeter bolts. Then we're going to take this end cap here off. Okay. Okay. There's no real good way for me to show you how to do this, but I'm going to now that I got everything off, I'm going to pick this intake cam up carefully without moving the chain off it. I'm going to rotate this chain on the exhaust side. It's not always real easy to do, but it can be done. It's going to get enough slack in it so it jumps. Actually moving the intake cam down, I'm trying to rotate it at the same time, and there it is. Now take your time when you do it, because you don't want to go too far. And that's how that works. Now, I have my chain right where I want it to be. It's going to be kicked off to the left now. As soon as I get everything tightened down and I put the caps back on, everything will be in good shape. And I'll have my 16 in between. This one will, the exhaust side's gonna be, as you can see, it's already tilted. I'm trying to put it at the angle of the caps. So you can see it's gonna be kicked off to the left a little bit, which is how you want it. And then the intake side is gonna be straight up. I'm gonna put the caps back on. Okay. Now let's take a look. I got all my caps. I got 
I don't put the I didn't put the end cap on, but I have those caps on, and I got them snug down. I don't have them torqued down to the correct specs yet, and I also put the bolts back in the adjuster. So now let's have a look at what we have. Right, here we go. So everything looks pretty good, straight down on the intake side. Let's go over here to the exhaust side. Now looking straight down on it, you can see that this one is off to the left. And that's the exhaust side, and that's how you want it. Okay. So. And that's how it looks in the book, and that's how it's supposed to be done. If you have it, if it looks like that, you're good. Okay. So there you go. Now I'm gonna go ahead and um, get my bolts torqued down, and I'll be back. Okay. So just in case you're wondering, torque these caps down to seven foot pounds or ten newton meters. So there you go. I'll let you read that a second. Push pause. Whatever you gotta do. And okay, now that you have everything torqued down to seven foot pounds, don't forget to put your sensor back on the end here and tighten that down to 10 millimeter.